Hi guys, welcome back to the 50 must know question series. You're with me Arun Sharma. And in today's uh, session, I'm doing a question from percentage. Pretty standard structure in percentage, but uh, these are the kind of questions that are very often asked in exams. And you need to build your thinking so that you can solve these questions in the first round because uh, most of the people will be able to solve these questions uh, in the exam and majority, not, not most, but majority, a good, good majority of the people will be able to solve these questions in the exam when they face it. But uh, competitive advantage is created in such questions by the fact that you do it faster than others. So let's have a look at the question. It's a standard structured uh, question based on percentages. And uh, this is kind of LOD2 in percentage, not, not uh, difficulty 1 level, but difficulty 2 level question. Because you have to understand the structure of the variables involved here. A small and medium enterprise imports two components, A and B, from Taiwan and China respectively. So there are two components coming in, A and B from Taiwan and China respectively and assembles them, them with other components for a toy. So what's happening is that you've got two components coming in from Taiwan and China, A and B and along with other components this is used to assemble a toy. Component A contributes 10% of production cost. Component B contributes to 20% of the production cost. Usually the company sells this toy 20% above the production cost. So the reaction to this, to this information is that if I take the production cost as 100, if I take the total production cost as 100, then component A is, produce, is, is creating a cost of 10, component B is creating a cost of 20 and the other components which must be adding to a component cost of 70 so the production cost of 100 is comprised of A, B and other components and the total cost is 100 so this is the production cost and every quants question as I always tell you it's very important for you to understand the structure it's very important for you to understand the, the variables and how the variables are interrelated with each other so, we have component A cost, component B cost and other component cost leading up to the total cost and it's obviously an additive construct there. So, usually, what is it saying? Usually, the company sells this toy at 20% above the production cost. So, usually, the company sells this toy at 20% of above the production cost. So, that means our selling price is 120 that's the reaction to this to this statement that has come we've got the cost of production uh, it's not cost price is the cost of production that we have here and we've got a selling price at 120 which is 20 percent of the above the production cost and you've got component a and b which is costing 10 and 20 respectively that's what is told to us till now and the question further goes due to an increase in the raw material and labor cost in both countries so this raw material labor cost has increased in both the countries. Component A became 20% costlier and component B became 40% costlier. Let's understand or use this information. So due to an increase in labor and uh, costs in both companies, component A's cost will go to 12 and companies, component B's cost will go to 28 because there will be a 40% increase on this and there will be a 20% increase on this. So this 10 has become 12, this 20 has become 28. The question further goes on and says, owing to these reasons, the company increases the selling price by 15%. So owing to these reasons, the company increases the selling price by 15%, considering that cost of other components does not change. So what has happened is that cost of other components remains at 70. So the total cost of production now is 110 because there's an increase of 2 here and an increase of 8 here. And the company has increased selling price of 15%. So in increased selling price of 15% of 120, 15% uh, of 120 is 18. So that means you've got 138 as the new production cost or the new selling price rather. And the question being asked is what is the profit percentage? The question being asked is what is the profit percentage? That's obvious here, 110 to 138. If the toy is sold 
So what is the profit percentage? So you know the new cost is 110. The new selling price is 138. So the percentage profit is 28 on a cost of 110. Remember the, the formula for percentage profit is uh, profit divided by original price or cost price into 100. So 120 divided by 100, you can do this for the percentage logic. 11 is 10%, 22 is 20%, you got 6 more over 22. So 20% plus 6 by 110, 6 by 110 is around 0.5%. So if you look at the options, the correct answer is 25.5%. So that was it. I hope you're enjoying the series. Please do make sure that you watch the other videos and uh, uh, <coughs> make sure that you also uh, uh, make sure that you learn from these uh, these processes, etc. So this question, uh, these kind of questions, if you want to create competitive advantage on in the exam, you need to be able to solve them while, while reading the question, not in your second reading, but during the during first reading, most of the steps should happen there. So I'll be back with, with more in the next video. Abhikal, I'm take, taking leave. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe and comment on the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.